Hi, viola players, it's Miss Slominski, and this is a video for you on the Wild Western Frontier. This is a really fun song by one of my favorite composers, Sunhi Newbold, and our part ranges like with notes from all of our strings. We get to use our low two strings in here. For many of you, this might be a first time that you're doing this. I want to point out just a few things before I play. In your music, you're going to notice that there are several spots where you have something that looks like this. It is indeed one full measure of rest because we're in common time. That's the same as 4-4. Four, four. Each measure has four counts. So if you've got a copy straight from me, it'll have those four counts written in to start one, two, three, four. Happens a lot of times right in the middle of the song. We have some fun rhythms. Do not forget all of these chord note rests. And um, the rhythmic parts tend to have a lot of bow lifts in there. Things will look and sound the best if you can do all of those bow lifts, even though they happen sort of fast sometimes. There's one place where you do not lead, need a lift, where it might feel like you do, but it's got a, a slightly different pattern than other things that happened beforehand. A few slurs in here, make sure they happen. Um, anytime that you have two notes right on top of each other, that means you've got a double step. You want to play both of these notes at the same time. We've got open G, open D, and then here open C, open G. All right, what is this little thing next door? It's called a natural symbol. Just for you to know, um, because our key signature had two sharps here, there's a sharp for F sharp, C sharp. Normally, this says every single F and C in the song should be sharp. However, we don't want to play C sharp here. We want to play open C, C natural. That's what the symbol says. All right, I think we're ready. Once you know the notes and the rhythms, don't forget about all the fun things that you can do with your dynamics as well. Here is the Wild Western Frontier. And a one, two, ready, go. song, huh? Um, make sure you know, can, can identify what string everything should be on? Because you do get to do use your low C string a lot. It sounds so great. Make sure you dig in with your bow a heavy arm so that you can get a big rich sound like that. We don't want wimpy C sound or breathy. We want rich, powerful violas. Violas forever. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.